Hey all, um, we got uh, a work crew doing work on the house downstairs, so we have to sort of be here today. So we got bored and figured <laughs> since uh, all the shirts are wrinkled and need to be uh, not wrinkled, probably washed, uh, we're going to do an inventory of uh, the t-shirts. Should we count? No. <laughs> <laughs> we should not count. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, well, these are in some kind of particular order. These are House of Guitar shirts and Stone shirts, and then this bigger pile is just everything. So we're just going to go through and see what we got. This is from, I think, like early 90s, when the House of Guitars, I have a bunch of those, uh, had a contest to find the worst guitar player. So they had a, a, a t-shirt made for that. So had to have that one. Uh, another House of Guitars, just black. They all pretty much have that. On the back, one of those. Uh, another house of guitars. Oh. I just liked it because it was different, but I don't know it what. Different. I don't know what it is. Oh, the fifty years. That I was don't think I've ever seen thing. this one. Um, I don't know that I've ever worn it. <laughs> 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 uh, another house of guitars. Again, just another one. Uh, I liked it because it was purple, and I you don't see purple ones very often. Uh, blue one with the BC Rich Mockingbird on it. Uh, that on the back. Uh, long sleeve one. The cool thing about the long sleeve one, they got the base neck on the sleeve. I just thought that was cool. Uh, and green on the back. Uh, another uh, BC Rich Mockingbird. Blue on the back. Uh, uh, sort of a baseball shirt version of it. In fact, this one doesn't have the thing on the back. It's got the same, <laughs> the same front and back. Oh. Okay. Same thing. Uh, another BC Rich one. That's one of those, uh, what do you call that kind of shirt? Nylon? I don't know what that is. Oh, stretchy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, blue one with green on the back. Uh, red, which is way too big. I'll probably never even wear it. It's too big. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> I, can, yeah. I can make it into a tent, I suppose. Uh, green with blue. Basic white. Classic. With blue on the Classic back. Classic white. That one I like. That might be my favorite. Actually, I like that one too. Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, almost like a psychedelic kind of thing. I like that one too, just because of the green color. Mm -hmm. That one sat <laughs> for months and months before I, I was like, oh yeah, I bought that. I should wash it. Well, uh, now it's set because I needed to repair all. Oh, of that's it. right, I had a hole in it. And I'm not good at chores like that. These are now. <laughs> it takes me a while. <laughs> no, you're good at them once you start them. Yeah. This is uh, a genuine 1989. We got this at the uh, Stone Show at the Carrier Dome, one of the first shows you and I went together, September of '89. Um, actually, this one is still in pretty good shape. It's it's a little bit uh, a little bit thin. A little bit thin, but but still in good shape. But you see repros of this one for sale on eBay and stuff. The, the newer ones. Uh, that's of course the uh, Mick shirt. Look at how wrinkled that it is. It's ridiculous. No, it's not a real signature. It's we, a fake signature. We were on a plane once, and someone asked you yeah. if that was a real yeah. signature. But uh, alas, <laughs> it is not. Uh, Netherlands, and I don't think it has anything on the back. No, nope. just a Netherlands soccer one. For what what tour was that? A bigger bang? I don't know what that was. Uh, no idea what this one is. This one is uh, Fenway. Uh, oh five. I like the ones that have something on the tongue. I don't know. Most of them are baseballs, <laughs> like that one. And I like the yellow on that one because this is the Pittsburgh Pirates. So I like that it was uh, yellow lips. Kind of cool. Another one that's too big to wear, but it's good to have, I guess. Uh, what is that? Quebec. I don't know what year, but another one where I like to, that had something. It's, it's a different thing on the tongue, you know, nothing on the back. Uh, 72 Tour Repro, not real, obviously. I'm counting this as a stone shirt. That's one way that we, <laughs> that we, made. we made it. <laughs> I just bought a green shirt, I bought some letters. Count that as a stone shirt. Uh, 50, what was 50th was 2012, so this would be Boston Garden on the 50th tour, basketball, I don't, I don't think I have many that have the basketball, that might be the only one. Uh, I don't know, what, what is this, Bridges to Babylon? 
these for some reason go for ridiculous prices now. I don't know why. Yes, uh, 97. Um, but cool design on it. I used to have a green one of that. I might have a white one. I don't know. Uh, that's the Super Bowl in 06. Detroit Super Bowl. Um, what is that? Oh, that's just sort of the generic baseball stadium tour of 05. So it's kind of, they must have sold the same shirt at all those different shows. Uh, 75 tour. I always like that logo for that tour. Got the uh, dates on the back. Uh, Perth 2014. Another one where I thought they, I like when they do something cool with the lips. That was kind of cool <laughs> on the black salon. I like this one. Nothing on the back. Uh, what is this? I think that's Beacon Theater 06. Another one that I kind of like, just because they do different stuff with the mouth. Yeah, 06. Beacon Theater. Uh, I'm going to guess that's California Angels. Angel Stadium. What does that say? 05? I thought that was cool that they did the, <laughs> did the Halo. Yeah, nice touch. Uh, that's another uh, Babylon one, just like that yellow one, 97, 98. Uh, this is some kind of 75 repro thing. Ugly color, but neat graphic on it. Uh, Spain, same with that other Netherlands one. I don't know, what does it say what tour that is? Yeah, 06. 06. Uh, this, of course, is, I like that one. That's when they play that uh, Duke. What was that, 05? That would have been 05? Yeah, 05. Bigger bang. Uh, that's Nebworth 76. Another one that's too big for me, but I liked stoned at Nebworth 76. I liked the image on it, so I got it, but I'll never wear it. <laughs> uh, random uh, 81. Very pro shirt. That's, uh, people ask who that is. It's Al Capone. So this obviously is Chicago, but I don't know what year. Bigger bang, 06. Chicago. Uh, what is that? <laughs> is that Quebec? What is that? Mm. Yes! 2015. Yes. That's the zip code. Tour. That's a fairly recent one. I like that. I like when they do the flags on the clouds like that. It's another one. Nova Scotia. 06. Uh, that's the, the promo for She's So Cold single. And it says, I'm so hot. She's so cold and I'm so hot. I kind of like that. Uh, what the heck is that? M uh, Munich. In what year? 06? Oh, um, I, I might have worn it once a long time ago. Um, that one is just, I don't know who, what this is from or what it is, but it's sort of a punk rock looking 1978-ish <laughs> t-shirt. Uh, just your average every day. Long sleeve jersey shirt. It's cool. Embroider, so that's kind of cool. Uh, another one from uh, we bought two shirts mm -hmm. at the uh, Carry Dome show in '89. That's one of them. That, that's an, another one that is real legit. Real legit and getting a little bit thin, so I don't really wear these ones anymore because if you keep washing them, they're going to disappear into nothing. That is a promo shirt. I guess one of the sponsors of that tour was Ballpark Franks. <laughs> So they, they must have gotten licensed to do a promo shirt. So you don't see too many of those around. But. Uh, some kind of Canada show. What is that? Oh, 03. Canada. Uh, it's a 75 repro, so that's not real. But no dates on the back. But another one where it's a different version of the tongue, which I thought was kind of cool. That one is, uh, it's a shame you can't, it's sort of turning into a big blue uh, lump. But that is uh, Sweet Virginia for Lovers. Cavs, you got the Cavalier blades on it. So if I ever run into a real uh, Virginia fan, I'll turn them on in that shirt. Uh, Brazil, Rock and Roll. Just another one of those, sort of generic. Uh, what is that? What does it say? No idea. It is Santiago, Chile, 2016. That's newer than I thought. A little 
suggestive on the image, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't like skateboarding. I don't skateboard, but when you have Why not? too many shirts, you end up with things like this. A skateboard coming out of his mouth. Uh, that one I like. I just like because it's like you have to look at it to see the the mouth on it. And I don't know what tour this was, or I don't even know if it is from a tour or what it is. But I just thought the text was cool. <laughs> I liked it. I don't know what it is. Uh, another Canada. Is this a repeat of the other one, or is it a different one? Oh, it's this is like the whole tour. So I guess they had generic ones for that same for that tour for different different shows for that same show. Uh, that's the Some Girls uh, Full. <laughs> I, I've never seen another one of these. I know they're obviously stand back somebody makes one. them. But it's the full, the entire shirt is done up <laughs> with the cover. And it's cool that they did the original cover before they got rid of Lucille Ball and Farrah Fawcett and all that. Uh, that is, is that Bridges to Babylon? Hold on. No, this is Voodoo Lounge. Voodoo Lounge tour. Another one where... Uh, these original ones are getting ridiculously expensive, but you can get a repro of it. That, I think, is uh, the uh, Sky Dome in Toronto. Well, Blue, Blue Jays, yes, it must be. Yes, it is. Oh, 05. I like that one. I like the blue. Uh, that one I only got because it's a misprint. It's printed backwards. Oh, yeah. So it is the same one as that other Downsview Park, but this is one of the ones that got out backwards so oh maybe it's worth something no idea okay Next. now we get into the meat of the collection <laughs> this is and you can see totally falling apart totally falling apart but this is from our i i kind of technically call this our first date okay but we went to this show at rich stadium in mm -hmm. buffalo together and the there this was a bo one of those bootleg shirts and this was, there was a guy walking around in the parking lot before the show. Look how fake it is. <laughs> it's just ratty, but I, I still will keep it just as an artifact of our first date. But um, a guy was walking around with, and he was wearing, he had, he looked fat because he was wearing so many shirts. And like, you'd ask him, I need a medium. And he'd be like, oh man, and he'd have to take off 10 shirts to get to a medium. He was wearing the inventory on his, <laughs> on his body. I thought that was awesome. Don't mind the hammering downstairs. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that, that's the work crew on it. Uh, this is a legit uh, shirt, Winterland Productions. I don't know if they make repros of this even, but that is from the uh, 77 tour? I think that's from 77 tour or late 76. Of course, after the album came out because it's got the picture from the album. But that is legit, and I don't wear that anymore because it's still in really good shape. It's not super thin yet. The graphic still looks good. That's, that's worth 150 bucks or something, so I don't wear it anymore. Just as keep it as a collection thing. This I don't wear either anymore, and that is real, man. You can see how thin it's gotten. <laughs> but I don't wear it anymore because uh, I just don't want it to get ruined. But that's a real one from the 70s from the Capitol Theater. Von Dutch, just your generic. Probably use that uh, for to sleep in. No. <laughs> Another one that we made. The great thing about Ronnie Van Zant's shirt is that if you buy a black shirt and buy some white letters, you can have an exact reproduction <laughs> of Ronnie's shirt. Uh, that's a Nebworth 79 promo uh, thing. I don't know if they were actually selling these at the show, but I always just thought that was cool, done up as the Into the Outdoor. And so the, the khaki color of that Into the Outdoor thing. Mr. Music, I bought a uh, 1939 Gibson L7 from them and got a free shirt. Boston Rocks. What year? 39, 1939. Oh. <laughs> I sold it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gone. <laughs> Chicago Music Exchange. Another one. Lichtenstein. Sick Sick Birds. The late, great Sick Sick Birds. Uh, a Baltimore band. That's the Bromo Seltzer Tower. <laughs> People think that's the uh, big band. Uh, Sick Sick Birds morphed into Concrete City. If you're ever in the Baltimore area, you ever see Concrete City playing, check them out. They're awesome. Fillmore East, and this might be my favorite shirt because you made this one for me. But we bought a green shirt and yellow letters, and my lovely assistant made it. You've done several, haven't you? I know, but that was that's my favorite. Oh, okay. gotta have a favorite. Uh, Porky, I like that one. I prefer my 911s without the whale tail. Call me crazy. 
Uh, another Nebworth, a repro. I wish it was real. But, so. Magic 92, Rochester, <laughs> New York. I used to have a half a dozen of them, you know, this is a repro. But way back in the day, I in the 80s. I used to have one too. And I had the old kick ass rock and roll. My, mm -hmm. my dad would say, Don't wear that in public, please. <laughs> is that that? That, of course, is the 987.1 Cayman S. Niagara. My dad's alma mater. Graham, of course. Jenny Cream, baby. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I like it. I like Jenny Cream. Always have. No laughing. Mary's Club. No, never been there. Yes, I'd like to. Uh, that's like the um, Last Supper Elvis thing. I think that's from that Hollywood Babylon book. Isn't that what that's from? Famous picture. I used to be able to pick out who's in it. Like Dion is in there. There's, I mean, apart from Elvis, there's a, all, all those are 50s. There's Richard Valens in there. A bunch of guys in there. More cowbell. That is uh, Monkey Butler. <laughs> that's actually a uh, Robert Plant. Band of Joy tour shirt from a few years ago. I don't know if it's supposed to be a monkey butler, but sure as hell looks like one. Uh, the Who. Everybody thinks that's the Who by numbers drawing. It's not. Uh, the, the by numbers drawing was done by Entwistle as a, you know, connect the dots thing. It just it is just a cartoon image, but not the same as the cover. This might be my second favorite. My other film more <laughs> shirt, but we made this one also. That is Slash, of course, everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> Niagara, again. Never been there. It's on my list. Of course. Marshall Amplification. I, I've totally, there's so many shirts in here that I completely forgot that I had. This is one of them. I don't know if that's an old promo shirt or what. Might be worth something, but I haven't worn it in five, ten years. I don't know, five years. Goes to eleven. Cersei, they are touring America constantly. If you ever see them in your town, go see this. It's just these two people, but you wouldn't believe the full sound they make. Great, great tunes and great people. Can't recommend Cersei enough. They're awesome. Uh, Gatorade, the big one on the back. Apart from Coke, that's the second best thing you can drink. Jimmy 77, probably Chicago, I'm not sure entirely. DBs, baby. Got that as a gift. The ones that I got as a gift are sort of more meaningful. <laughs> L&J, Hog, Co. Stacked. That's uh, on days like these when skies are blue. <laughs> that is a perfect, perfect. Uh, this is Triple A Vodka, Nantucket. The distiller on Nantucket. I like that one. In fact, you gave me that one. I do. I like that one. Guitarzilla? That's another gift. Another one that I like. This is a, uh, from the glory days, I think. From, well, it must be, because it's thick, man. It's a super thick shirt. So I think it's fairly old. But man, in the late 70s, 78, 79, 80, everybody wore this shirt. You saw this cheap trick logo everywhere back then. Uh, buffalo, another <laughs> gift. Slurpees, one of the greatest things you can experience See, I in life. That was your second favorite. Uh, well, uh, they're hard to find. Some of are hard to find. Uh, Porsche racing, another gift. Martini racing. Uh, Highway to Hell crew, it's not real. Probably this might be relegated to sleeping. Sure. <laughs> Zappa, another one that I like, but I think you get that one. Zappa for present. I don't. Maybe. Who knows at this point? Gift from my in laws, Jimmy. That's uh, Aladdin Sane. Speaker City, baby. I'll hook you up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work you over. I'll, I'll hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> Groom, Nashville. Oh, well, you can see it in the back. Groom guitars. 
Never bought one there. Uh, of course, that is the uh, 917K. People think that that car won Le Mans, but it won in the movie, but or at least it was driven in the movie by Steve McQueen, but it didn't actually win in real life. Uh, that's just sort of evolution of Porsche. I'm partial to Porsche. An oldie but a goodie. Haven't worn that one in forever. I forgot That used about to this be one, one of my favorites. <laughs> Simple to the point. Works in any language. Right. Um, that one, I don't know who gave that to me or where that came from. I don't even know if I've ever worn it, but I like it. The patent for some kind of guitar. It's kind of cool. I guess it's an electric guitar. Life is good. Unplug. I like that one too. Dave's Guitar Shop. Somebody gave that to me. I've never been to Dave's. I know they're in Wisconsin. I see their ads on Vintage Guitar, but I've never been there. Red Zeppelin, Fulkerson, Finger Lakes. Someone gave that to me as a gift, and then a couple of years ago we were driving through the Finger Lakes in New York. And we actually stopped there, Fulkerson. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had my shirt on at the time. Another one that we made, the warehouse. You can't actually get the warehouse shirts anymore, but another one that we made. I like that one. Bruce, what can you say? Be water, my friend. Be water. Be water. Uh, that is, uh, <laughs> if you've ever, if you've never seen Tombstone, you have to see it. And in fact, I mean, the whole movie's great. And Kurt Russell, I would basically watch him in anything because he's one of my favorites. But Val Kilmer stole that movie. Just fast forward to every scene that Val, Kil that Val Kilmer's in, and, and he's just utterly, utterly fantastic in that movie. Best work he ever did. Mm. Nantucket, a gift from my mother in law. Pepper. You like it, Pepper? Uh, you like it, Pepper? <laughs> Ultraman, gift from my brother. Oh, that one has uh, sentimental meaning. I don't know if uh, any of you are children of the 70s, but I used to rush home from school to catch Ultraman at 3 o'clock. WDCA in the, in the Washington, D.C. area. Vivian Howard. It's not me. If you would pose for a picture for a t-shirt, I'd put you on. <laughs> Absolutely not. But this is one of one of my non-wife crushes <laughs> that I continue to nurse. Jag, baby, jag. Of course, any self-respecting Coke drinker has to have the merch. That's another one that's like super thick. I don't know who made this, but they make thick. Oh, it's actual Coca-Cola brand. <laughs> Shamrock Run, that's Nantucket. Another one of our favorite places. We honeymooned on Nantucket, huh? 1994. You got that at the consignment shop that. or something? I don't know where I got it. <laughs> I, I surely did not I run in the Shamrock Run. I didn't run it, that's run. for sure. Uh, J.D. Simon, arguably the best uh, rock player alive today. J.D. Simon, look him up on YouTube if you're not familiar with him. Uh, used to have a poster of that show. The Wembley Pool, Empire Pool show. Pretty cool graphic, huh? As somebody pointed out, the symbols don't match up with the people. That's tragic, I guess. Uh, BFM, Chaivon. Uh, that, of course, Batmobile Beamer. Another Life is Good. That is the uh, that is the Clockwork Orange bar, milk bar. If you've seen the movie, you'll get that. Jukebox the Ghost. Can't uh, can't say enough about how great that band is. If you ever see them touring around, go see them. Great pop band, absolutely stellar, stellar pop band, and a great live act too. Seen them a few times. That's the uh, Born to Kessel Run on solo. I don't know where that came from. Uh, another gift for my brother, <laughs> the guitar violin. Dwayne Allman, April 1971. A photo, one of my pro probably my favorite picture of Dwayne with the cigarette. You can't really see it too well. But that picture was taken in the gymnasium at St. John Fisher College in uh, April 71. Their peak, spring of 71, their peak. Uh, but since I went to that school, that's my favorite picture of <laughs> I, I used to play basketball on that same court where they played. <laughs> uh, Porky, what is this? Monterey 2014? 
Porsche Club of America. The, the, the whole Porsche thing is like a culture. You, you, you're in it once you get aboard. Uh, so I wish it had something on the label. I wish it said Big River, which is my favorite song. <laughs> but it's just a generic song. Uh, another uh, 917. Okay. Manny's got that at Manny's. I don't know if they do repros of these, but this is a real one that I got at Manny's in, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. Manny's is gone now, alas. Uh, that is uh, Mr. Bo. The Natty Bo. Natty Bo. National Bohemian. If you're from Maryland or you'll know what Natty Bo is. Uh, pistols. Pretty vacant. I got that in London. On, on, at a shop on King's Road. <laughs> no, not in 1977. Uh, oh, Cersei again. So Another Cersei. Triumph. No, not the band. Not the band. Even though the band's great. Saw them in 86 with Ingve Malmsteen opening. But that's Triumph the Bike. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're around in the 70s, you don't know what that is. It was usually like a uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer special mm -hmm. or. Uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving or something. Eastman School of Music, Rochester, New York. No, I didn't go there. Which is plainly obvious if you've watched my video. <laughs> uh, this is a Buddy Holly shirt that I got at the uh, the show. That'll be the day. The One of the few sort of musical shows that I've ever been to because that ain't my thing, but I loved it. This is a uh, Shoko <laughs> repro, and you want to see the funniest thing? It's clearly, I think, some... Uh, Japanese company that makes these pirate shirts, but look at, look at it closely. What's wrong? No. With it? Yeah. If, if you could just sort of get some marker. Madison. <laughs> Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheap. Uh, Dave Gilmore, uh, repro shirt. Another. Now this car did win Le Mans 1970, and. Uh, that car I've seen in person at Amelia Island last year, and uh, it was just sitting there, parked out there. Nobody was there, and I got to just sit there next to this car and just drool on it for like half an hour. It, it, that was one of the great car moments of my life, actually being in the presence of that car. Amazing. And nobody, nobody really cared except me. Still one of the best books I've ever read. <laughs> And, and very relevant to today, you know, with the, I don't know, I, I think the, the, the morality tale of this story still holds. Uh, that's, of course, the uh, Glazer uh, image of Dylan, which I have a poster of somewhere. It does say, I, I'm one of the ones that believes that it's in there, Elvis is in there, E-L-V-I-S, I, I think mm. that's in there, that's the way I read it. But in his hair, supposedly, you can see Elvis, and that's how, how I've always read it. Jimbo, of course, people are mistaking that for Slash. I think they're half-joking. I hope they're half-joking. Yin-yang. Yin-yang, sorry. Is that a life is good? No. I don't know. It's, it's cool, huh? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that is a uh, okay. life preserver. <laughs> if you're around in the 70s, you'll know what that is. Ooh, Jello. Yeah, Jello. A gift from my brother and uh, nieces and nephews. The birthplace, birthplace of, of Jello. Jello. If you're ever in Leroy. <laughs> the, the pride of Western New York. Uh, that's uh, Cisco Brewers Nantucket. If you're ever on Nantucket, you got to see Cisco Brewers. Of course. I don't, I don't have all of my Duke paraphernalia in here, but that's one of them. Another Cisco Brewers. Oh, Nantu How many Nantucket shirts you got? Great lady. Um, I like that image. Kind of cool shot. That one I totally forgot about. I used to I wear this too. one quite a bit. I never wear it anymore. Just your generic. I, I'll bet there's a whole people generation of people yes, that don't, don't even know, know what, what that, that is. is. What that's a picture of. But late at night, the, the color bars would come up when the TV stations went off the air. If you turned on the TV at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, this is what you'd see. <laughs> no, I do not sell this. <laughs> My brother got it to me, got it for me as a gag. I have one. That's it. I don't sell merch. I'm not into that. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> <laughs> Your pearly white teeth, mm. which I've always admired. 
Uh, my, I'm one of those. There were two kinds of kids in like 1977 in the United States. Little boys whose mothers would allow them to have this poster and little boys whose mothers wouldn't allow it. Mine wouldn't allow it. But the kid across the street, John Quinlan, he had it. So we spent a lot of time in his bedroom <laughs> staring at that. <laughs> That's, uh, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Rendezvous, the short film, look it up on YouTube. It's called Rendezvous. Uh, French film, one of the great short films. It's only 10 minutes long, but fantastic. Of course, they've got a, a 275 GTB, but it wasn't done with the 275. That's the hit bull win steak from that Bull Durham movie. Remember that movie? Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, um, evidently people. I wore this on the channel, and people take this as some kind of political. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> But I, 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 I had to delete a bunch of comments because people said, it figures Frampton would stay inside the coward. You know, come on. Jesus, it's a t-shirt. We're like, Tired as Chicken Records. That's uh, the label that you will find. Concrete City and Sick Sick Birds. Huh? Uh, is this last but not least? Yes. Oh, last gosh. but not least. That's a good one to end on. Chuck. <laughs> the Godfather. He's the guitar father. Uh, that's the t-shirt collection for now, and I'm sure it will change by the time, yeah, exactly. There they are. It'll change by the time you see it again. Good luck.